Hello and welcome back to No One Plays. It's the very first or very first episode of this week's recordings. So let's get started. I don't think we need to go that fast. And I found a couple of interesting things. Actually, for example, Virgin would in theory vassalize. I'm not quite sure how possible it is. Especially since they're bishopric. Same problem with Magdeburg. But we might be able to. If you stay at peace for a little while, if you keep on placating them. And we are going to be at peace probably until we go and attack the Teutons. As much as I would like to attack the Hansa. Did I stop the covered actions against them? Why? I must have finished the fabrication of the claim. That was quick. I mean, I might want to go against the Hansa, but... That's a big might. In the end, what is fairly certain is that I want to get alliances with these guys here. I mean, I plan to vassalize them eventually, yes, but they would also be kind of great assets, like two small states that would most likely help me because I'm so much stronger than them. Can be truly amazing assets for me, and they would take less aggressive expansion, of course, if I decide to go against the Hansa. As if Rodan even survives, which is not very certain. As in, it's very certain that they won't survive, so. Stop wasting my time here. This alliance going for now. It's not a lot, but it's something. I wish I could attack these bastards. But uh, aggressive expansion is still pretty damn bad. So I'm probably better off just waiting for the years to tick by, so we can attack the two towns and expand properly. We do only have one claim, but we personally could get up to three. Of course, another problem is that the two towns are now completely undefended against Poland, so we might see Poland enter a conflict before we can, which would be very unfortunate. And a conflict versus Poland would just be too costly for me. At least at this point. Just like my army seems to be a bit too costly. Well, it's the advisors, really, that I'm paying for. Mm-mm-mm. Those monarch points. Making me stay up on tech and ideas, which I'm actually fairly far behind now. At least ideas. He isn't Diplotech, that's what I really need. Strangely enough, not really admin. Okay, let's lower speed again and see what I can do. Poland does not get access. What are they at war with? Oh, goody. Yes. Do you left myself some Ottomans? Different religions in negative five? What? Why is it only negative five? Seems a bit insane. I mean, they hate Poland, and I'm very close to hating Poland as they have rivaled me, and they still ask for military access. How stupid do they think I am? We have eight more years until we can attack the Teutons. So I really think that is going to be the next action here, but... Just in case, let's... Improve relations. That's another 15 towards the goal. You get another 45, easily 60 even. 
So you can get up to 175, really. Realistically speaking. If I correct everything right. Maybe even more. So it'll be 130 if we do... Or if we get the full bonus from subsidies. 155 with a gift. 165 with the guarantee. Yeah, and 175 together with uh, then the access. So, 175. And we'll need a couple more yearly ticks to help us out here. I just don't know what to do with the other diplomat. Other than maybe try to get an alliance down here. It's so unlikely though. Hmm. And we're gonna get two cannons because we can. Because we can make our in our army just a little bit more effective. Also coming up is 20% morale boost. Like there is, is our big military boost coming up. The next... What is it? And this one we're going to get when we finish. One idea. And this one we're going to get and then... Goose step we won't quite get until tech 10. Then I think I might go for innovative. Just for the modern firearm techniques. It could be truly amazing here. No. You don't get military access. You can find another way to Poland. Another way to help them against the Ottomans. Let's hope that the Ottomans are doing well. They do have Crimea in there. Okay, Crimea is positive 7%. It's not a ton, but it's, it's something. Hmm. Once again, the question comes up. Should I tech up military or not? Should probably wait for the tech up because that is quite significant. The shock increase and the fire increase. On the other hand, that morale, getting up to that morale would still be the best, the singular best thing right now. I guess they were absorbed, sadly. Sadly, Brunswick was a dick to us. here two more years I think we're gonna just about skip by here and not hit the cap I hope are we an Austrian alliance would still be very great it's just still very very unlikely Now that was the first reform, that's fine. Go up to the second one, Fry Care. And after that, they need to stop. Stop it. 
Okay, what do you have here? Aggressive expansion impact or lose 25 Diplo. As much as I hate to lose Diplo, I would really rather not take more aggressive impact. Ooh. Has it gone up again? No. No, it has gone down. Slightly. Six more years. And one more year of gaining six admin points a month, so yeah, plenty of headroom here. So we do probably want to take land directly afterwards. I mean, the main hope for this war with the Ottomans. Well, I guess if the Ottomans win, that would be great for me, but at least if they keep them busy so they can't attack the Teutons. That's the real goal here. Okay. Ah, our Regency just ended. That's right, we're in a Regency. Oh, and we just... Need to insult them. But they didn't do anything. Didn't have a truce with them, did we? Oh crap. <laughs> they aren't even my rival yet. Okay, who do we want to insult then? Send an insult. There we go, much better. I'm already embargoing them, right? Yeah, I am. I'm already embargoing both of them, so there's nothing much to gain, gain from that. So we're soon gonna go out of the power protection range again. Too bad. Oh, I forgot to calculate and tran transfer trade power, so let's go for the proclaim guarantee here. We're not actually that far out for our marriage. Okay, what else can we do? Access that. Give them access, yes. 140 plus 6 that we could get still. Now it gets a bit trickier. We can do a royal marriage, but we can send gift, which put them up to 165. 171. Transfer prefer will probably not be enough, so let's give tiny little subsidies. 3 ducats. I think I can afford that. Or can I? I want to get strained quite a bit here. I think that's alright because it's very, very temporary. Oh, so it's time to check up. Tech up time. You're gonna take some land, personally. The two tons. Can we cancel that mission and get a better one? I would really, really love a really good mission here. Now we get some missionary strength and potentially we could get stability cost modifier, but I don't like to pay money for it. Constant 4% of all of my money for the rest of freaking game. Well, not all of my money. For roughly half of my income. More or less. It's more in the early game than in the late game, but still. It's a lot of income that you would be losing. And. If you're a trade nation, then take that mission. Take that, sure. 
You're just a landlocked little nation like me? No. And... Yeah, I want to upgrade the military. As quickly as possible. Now we're 100... Or 13 years out. That's very good. Very, very good. And being ahead of time also gives us more money, apparently. Full gift. Hmm. Foreign drill instructor. Youch. We can get another six from just improving relations. We're just giving them more subsidies. <laughs> that one is just not very relevant. It used to be broken so that you could get a shit ton of receiving subsidies very quickly, like plus five a year for essentially nothing. I mean, it's still a point of 1.5 a year. It's pretty good. How much will it get me? So close. We're so close. We have no more potential. Really, only plus nine. Well, in two years' time, we'll have them. Unless, of course, they get conquered. Would be rather annoying. But worse is this? Chicken Reconquest of Hoya. Which they apparently used to own at one point. Well, yeah, that is one of their starting provinces. Well, let's hope that a good friend monster here can help a friend out. Looks likely enough. Uh, meanwhile, the Hansa is. It seems like a great target, but it really isn't. I mean, I kind of want to boot them out for the HRE. I also kind of want to eat Pomerania right now. I think giving them Danzig and eating the rest here myself would be great if I can. And I should be able to as long as I don't give them everything. I could give them, for example, two promises to them as long as I take one myself that is directly bordering my vassal. I think that's kind of a bug, because, you know, eventually you would still be able to core it, as long as your vassal cores the land here. But it wouldn't let you take it. Like, if I would hand over these two to my vassal, I couldn't take any of the land over here. Because it wouldn't recognize it as being able to be cored. Which is so freaking annoying. Still busy losing a war, aren't you? Good job. Ah, let's speed up this interwar period a bit. Holy crap, it's already plus 200. What happened? Don't know. Don't care. 
Oh, the next penalty from having an extra member of the Empire went away. Oh my god. Let me get another one. Oh my god, that's great. That is absolutely amazing. Yes, that's now the Bishopric of Verdun can also be vassalized easily. Austria, how are you doing? Austria could nearly be allied as well. Oh, I'm very happy about this. Very, very happy. Um, yeah, Teutons, you're going down. Maybe even with the help of Austria. But we'll see about that. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode.